before we get into this video, can we just like take a second to admire my shirt because I absolutely love it. I mean, look at this. It's so cute. Look at the cactus. I mean, how cute is that? Okay, back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about how to save money. And that is because some people, including myself sometimes, find it a little bit difficult to save their money because, you know, it's burning a hole in your pocket. You're just like, oh, I want to go buy something. Or maybe it's not burning your hole in your pocket and you've just kind of developed the habit of spending your money as soon as you get it. And you've started to realize, oh, you know, I kind of want to start saving money. I'm not sure how to do that. So my first tip for you guys is to track your expenses. A lot of times, if you don't track your expenses, you don't know what you're spending your money on. And once you make a list or a spreadsheet or whatever, however you're going to track it, once you look over it, you're going to realize, oh, I spent $100 at Starbucks this month? Hmm, maybe I shouldn't go there as often. Or, oh, I spend $10 at Target every three days. And that adds up over the month. Maybe I should stop going to Target as often. Or, you know, it could be something like, oh, getting my hair cut and getting my hair done is really expensive. Maybe I'll go less frequently. And seeing your expenses written down and just looking over it, it kind of sheds a light onto your spending habits and how you spend your money. So it really lets you um, just realize what you're doing and help you decide what you could maybe cut back on to save your money. The next thing on my list is to make a budget and stick to it. Because if you make a budget and you're not going to stick to it, then the budget's pointless to begin with. And I know that sticking to a budget can be difficult. I know I have a really hard time sticking to my budget. But if you can, then you'll be able to save money. And that is the goal here, is to save money. So once you've reviewed your expenses, you'll know where you need to spend money on. And the first thing you'll need to account for is your necessities. So your rent or your mortgage or your groceries, any kind of insurance, any um, debt that you have, so student loans or your car. Factor all of that in and make sure that you can pay for all of that. And then afterwards, you could make a category for um, your savings account or maybe you're saving up for a trip. You could make a travel account or maybe you're saving up for a new phone or a car or whatever you're trying to save for. Make a little section or category for that and then allot some money to that and then maybe you want to save up some money for clothes, put a category for clothing and add some money into that category and then keep track each month of what you're spending and make sure that you're not overspending. So if you allot $50 for clothes a month, don't spend over $50 because that's going to screw up your budget and then that's going to um, take away from your savings and it's just not fun. Now my next tip, this is a hard one guys, pay with cash. And I know how hard it is to pay with cash because it's not because it's like old, it's just because it's like not easy. I don't know because paying with cash is so easy but I just hate paying with cash and there's a reason why I hate paying with cash and it's because when I hand over the money to the cashier I'm physically seeing that money disappear. I'm seeing that $20 bill just go away and it's just like you're cringing you're like no bring it back especially if it's something that you're like buying on a whim, you're like, oh, I just spent $50 on that backpack or that pair of shoes. Is this $50 bill really worth this $20 box of shoes? So paying with cash helps with that. When you pay with your card, you're not getting that feeling. You're not getting that reaction to losing that money. You're just swiping your card and going on your way, and you don't get that um, mental and like you just don't get that feeling and it's like 
it makes spending money a lot easier. So um, if you can, I recommend paying with cash. I know it can be hard, but if you're really trying to save money, then I think you should try to pay with cash. So my last and final tip for you guys in regards to saving money is to be smart. Now when I say that, I mean like don't go to the $80 aquarium when you could go to the pet store for free. <laughs> I know that's like a really drastic like difference there, but that's like the best idea I could come up with. If you're gonna spend $80 per ticket, so if you're going with someone else that's $160, to go to an aquarium and then just look at all the beautiful fish which there's tons of beautiful fish in an aquarium I know it's fun to do but at the same time you could go to the pet store for free look at all the different fish they have and look at all the other cute pets that they have as well it's things like that you need to think about you know do I need to go out to the most expensive restaurant or could I go to a cheaper restaurant or make food at home you know, you have to be smart and like weigh your options and figure out where you want to spend money. So maybe for the week or the month or a couple months, you eat at cheaper restaurants so that you can save money to go travel. And you just have to get in the mindset and think about it and be smart with your options. And you just have to be aware of your purchases and make smart decisions because buying something now might set back one of your goals a little bit further and then something else might get set back and if you're wanting to achieve a goal then you have to work for it really really hard and maybe you go to the cheaper restaurants for a month so that you can buy that pair of shoes that you've been looking for for a really long time or saving up to get a house or saving up for a car whatever you're saving for you just have to think long term and constantly have that goal or that idea in your mind so that you know when you go to the grocery store and you think oh, I really want that candy bar even though it's only maybe like two dollars that two dollars could be going to you buying a car in a couple weeks or I don't know a puppy because I really want a puppy <laughs> So just keeping track of your money and thinking about it and making smart decisions and what was my other thing? Oh, paying with cash. That will help you start to save money and make you a little bit more financially aware and just conscious of what you are doing. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you're saving for something big or even something small, let me know down in the comments. We can talk about other saving habits or saving tips. And other than that, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!